Listen to Rita Melville before treatment with Botox. Keep Tom at the party. Sam usually takes coffee with sugar. And one week after the injections. Keep Tom at the party. Sam usually takes coffee with sugar. Yes, we're talking about the same Botox used to erase wrinkles, but in this case, it's being used to treat a voice condition called spasmodic dysphonia. Rita was referred to an ear, nose, and throat doctor who specializes in voice disorders after developing persistent hoarseness. Dr. Michael Johns, director of the Emory Voice Center, diagnosed Rita with spasmodic dysphonia, which is a neurological condition. Patients who have spasmodic dysphonia get abnormal spasms and contraction of their vocal cord muscles. The condition, with an unknown cause, often sounds like the person is straining to talk or the voice drops out during a conversation. But with Botox injections, specialists can help patients get their voice back. Botox is a toxin produced by bacteria and it weakens muscles. And we take advantage of this in patients who have spasmodic dysphonia and these muscle spasms um, by injecting the Botox into the muscles of the vocal cords and this effectively weakens them. The results? The spasms are much less severe and the voice sounds normal again. That's important to Rita, an assistant principal who communicates with her voice all day, every day. Good afternoon, Western. It is time for the afternoon announcements. Because Botox wears off, injections must be repeated about every three months. But Rita says she'll endure the injections just to sound normal again, even if it's temporary. Now that I know that there is a solution for me every three months, if you will, that's a big ray of hope for me. For Emory, this is Rhonda Rowland.